Chapter 2 As I slept, I had every nightmare imaginable. The ship crashes, the wormhole exploding, and being exposed to the wormhole and having every atom in my body explode, and being stuck like that until my existence was nothing. I woke up in a cold sweat, worried about the mission. What if I wasn't ready? Am I really the one for the job? Sitting up, I looked outside. Cars flying by, street lights on. They had no idea what was happening tomorrow. No idea of what will happen. No idea of what will go down. The morning came slowly. The light pink sky of the sunrise cloaked my room in a glow of pure harmony. The calm before the metaphorical storm. As I went to the docking bay, I noticed people seemed to be drawn back by the sight of me, their pale eyes piercing into my soul. It was as if they were looking at a ghost, or a soon-to-be ghost. I kept walking, staring forwards. I saw the sliding doors to the bay in front of me, each step echoing more than the next. I knew I wouldn't be coming back soon. The room was a huge silver metal cube. It had no windows, no exits except the one I came in. Computers lined the wall. And my ship, shiny and crimson orange, vaguely in the shape of an oblong helmet, was situated behind a large gate. A stargate, as the professors called it. Adorning the gate were six triangular tablets, with a different sign on each. At the top was another triangle, larger than the rest, with a triangular slot in it. The stairs to my vessel descending, I looked around at the scientists and the mechanics. Among them was Adam, taking a final look at me, and then saluting. I saluted back, the first time ever. I walked up to my ship, refueled with the hope of the crew members, mechanics, and Adam. As I sat down, the speaker in the ship rang. Any objections, lady? None whatsoever, sir. Good. Stargate is tuning to the coordinates obtained. The Stargate's tablets started to turn. Each one fit perfectly into the slot. Suddenly, one fit into the slot and stopped. The design on it was a circle, with two thick lines cutting through it, one running to the left of the center down, and one running just below the middle horizontally. As it stopped turning, a small blue ball of light appeared in the middle. It started to turn slowly and grow bigger, becoming a blue disk, then a big blue cone. It filled the entire gate, still turning. I let go of my fears and hit the throttle. My ship gravitated upwards and then started to move forwards. This is it. I hit autopilot and shut my eyes.